Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Starting a little early because I got st I got my stuff done early. More or less. Uh alright. Should be capturing. Hopefully. Hopefully you do. There you are. Alright. So where we stopped off uh last time was uh when we just got the freaking coat really realistically so we're going on the proper investigation with the creepy dude there of course you have a question what you got Was no cop. Brains are <laughs> brains are bimbo. <laughs> I'm a scientist. What was he doing in my house? I should follow him. <laughs> Right, I need to do the. There's no clicking here. There's only keyboard. Was Jenny ready to follow the mysterious man in black? Yes. Let's go. Let's go, Arthur Tin Man. The man in black. Who was he? Where was he going? There was only one way to find out. I mean, is it even a man? What if it's a woman under that? What if it's an envy? Who knows? That's kind of the thing with mysterious figures in big black coats. You know? Where are you headed, creepy man in black? Jenny couldn't simply Hell, chase it could be even two people. Figure. He's bound to notice me if I follow too closely. I need to get out of his line of sight. I mean, aren't we, like, you know, pretty far away from him? To begin with? That's my way up. If only Keith was here to pull a ladder down. I'll just have to get it down the old-fashioned way. How so? Are we gonna jump for it? Oh, we're gonna use a stone. Fair enough. Uh oh. He didn't even bother to check, huh? Where? There! Jack-o'-lantern. Can I go inside? No, you're not letting me. I was not expecting to do that, but okay. But I guess that's just the power of layering. Jumpity jump bump. All right, let's see. There he is. The bridge should slow him down a bit. What if he has? What if they have a gadget? Do 
what if he what if they have floating boots or something not you to float over or they just are able to jump over naturally I don't know weird shit That's a freaking hazard right there. The man in black had taken the higher path towards the Almas Dunn Bridge. That's a dead end. Why is he going up there? There's nowhere to hide on the bridge. I'll go underneath and spy on him from there. I mean, maybe there's a reason for that? I don't know. Clearly there's hidden places all over the place because we found one. The man in black. Woo! She couldn't just walk onto the bridge and blow her cover. No, she'd keep her distance and see what the man in black would reveal when he didn't know he was being watched. I mean, we'll see what happens. The man in black neared the edge of the unfinished bridge. His methodical movements unnerved Jenny. Oh, jeez. I need to get a better look at him. I'll climb the outside of the bridge and snoop on him from there. The plan was daring, but reckless. I have no choice. He's my only lead. And so, undaunted by the dangers that lay ahead, Jenny LeClue, wearing her mother's jacket, advanced towards the bridge. Yesterday, a child. Today, a courageous adventurer. Oh, jeez, I've already dropped. That's a lot of frickin' frames. Eh. As long as it's not gonna be frickin' constant, I don't know. I don't know what the issue is in that, but mm, whatever. Does it. I don't want him to hear me coming. Sneaky boat. Sneaky. Haha, <laughs> I knew there was gonna be something. You can't hide this from me. Is there another one over here? Nope. wished she hadn't. She clung tightly to the stone wall. The ledge beneath her feet was narrow, barely wide enough to stand on. One false move and... Focus, Jenny. <gasps> Perfect pitch! The hallmark of a serial killer. It's the whistle. Maybe I can get a closer look. There you are. <laughs> the man in black, extremely creepy, identity unknown, likes long walks in the woods, and children's literature. The brim of his hat concealed his face uh. in shadow. 
The man in black remained an enigma. Could be three kids in a raincoat for all I know. That's what I was saying. He's just standing there. What's he waiting for? Menacingly. There's something up. Hmm. Oh no, there's something here. Yes. Okay, that's definitely a masculine voice. No. Yes. No. Wow, this guy's a real chatterbox. Yes, it's all there, clear as day. Who is he talking to? I wonder, is there any gallery items? Oh, yes. Found ya. Now we should look a little bit more. Just, oh, <laughs> you thought you could hide. And there's another. Got another achievement. Am I supposed to look over here? Or am I supposed to look over here? No, it wasn't there. Yes, the whole house. She must have it. What was he looking for? Of course. Where? Hold on. What's he doing now? Uh-oh. Got a bad feeling about this. Where did he go? Hi. <gasps> a super secret spy stash? <laughs> I can't hear what he's saying. Well, then we gotta move. Yes, I'll take care of her. Tonight, they change ships at four. So he's gonna go after a mom, then, huh? Yes. It's all here. I have to see what's on that paper. Yes, the biggest cross. I know. Where is he? He's destroying evidence. Of course he is. Well, I guess we gotta go after that now, huh? before it's lost for good she was only distracted for a moment but a moment was enough damn how does he do that <laughs> he's very fast despite how slow he walks clearly Let's hope we can actually get the freaking evidence. Ah, we're doing this again, huh? First of all, I'm gonna have to, like, make sure everything's... Let's just get... Yeah, let's get the corners going first. Uh... This looks like it's gonna be 
bottom. Auto shutdown initiated. Shut up. I'm playing here. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be down here. This looks like it's gonna be right over here. Hmm. Not. No, that's not gonna be there. Mm, uh, there we go. We got something. Uh, this probably goes here. Turn it around. Jenny held the soggy paper delicately. She hadn't recovered all the pieces, but enough to discern the message. Beyond the fallen angel, through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. The hmm. entrance is buried there. Look for the biggest cross. Don't forget to pay your respects. What could it mean? It more than likely means we have to follow the landmarks or something. There are directions to a secret entrance. But an entrance to what? Maybe there's more in the back. Mom? Hi, Mom. Jenny's heart skipped several beats. She remembered the man in black's words. I'll take care of her tonight. <gasps> He's going to... Jenny couldn't bring herself to say the words. Oh, no. Mom's in terrible danger. Thankfully, her mother was safely locked away under the watchful eyes of the police. Yeah, but the guy said that there was going to be a change of watch at 4 a.m., so... He'd probably go during that time, change a shift, He'd you know. Never get past them. He won't have to. These instructions lead to a secret entrance. A way to get to the jail without being detected. Oh, no. But where? Well... The entrance is buried there. Mm. Buried. The word bounced around her brain like a pinball. Where did people bury things? The graveyard. Yeah, that makes sense. Where else would you bury things, anyway? Of course. The graveyard was in the same part of town as the jail. Angels, arches, crosses on graves. All features of the graveyard. I have to get there before he does. I have to save my mom. You gotta get him. This was all well and good, but even if she was right, even if she managed to reach her mother before the man in black... How am I gonna break her out? It was at this moment a rather distressing thought popped into her head. As loath as she was to admit it, Jenny needed help. Are you gonna get your... Are you gonna get your cousin? She reached into her jacket pocket and removed the walkie-talkie Susie had given her. <gasps> oh, so it was... So it was a good idea for me to accept that, huh? Nice. Susie, are you there? Jenny, thank goodness. Are you okay? What is that awful music? Oh. I'm just rehearsing my dance for... I regret asking. <laughs> you said earlier you wanted to... Yes? You said you wanted to. <laughs> Help? Of course. Anything for you, friend. Okay. Meet me at the graveyard right away. The graveyard? But it's nearly midnight. What if I get caught? It's urgent, Susie. I don't know, Jenny. I don't think I can do it. Inspire. Don't you see, Susie? This is your chance to prove yourself. Do you want your whole life to be dictated by your parents? Well, no, but... There comes a time when every young woman has to chart her own course. But does it have to be right now? My mom's fate hangs in the balance. 
and I'm the only thing standing between her and death. Which side of history will you be on? Um, the good side? Great. Then meet me outside the graveyard as soon as possible. Okay, I'll be there, Jenny. Inspire! I'm thinking practical, but colorful. I don't care. Just bring your silent explosives. What? What do you need explosives for? I'm gonna break my mom out of jail. <laughs> so it definitely seems All like they're... Done canceled. It definitely seems like their no, their choices no, no, do no, matter no, in no. some sense. It changes how the story will go ahead. I am an artist. I will not be dictated to by some henpusha in an ivory tower. It's too long, too violent, too dark. These are my characters. So why does it feel like they're rebelling against me? All this fighting, all this drama. And for what? Jenny and Susie should be best friends by now. Maybe it's time to wrap this one up. End on a happy note. Yes, let's fix this nonsense once and for all. You're right, Rufus. First, I need another drink. <laughs> you underst- oh, Okay. I guess you two have a good working relationship. Is there any more? Haha! -ha. And another. Arthurton. Uh, planetarium. Poor. Hmm. What happens next? Hmm. Super fun surprise. We saw a new location, such a good idea. Hmm. Let's try the graveyard. I live for danger achievement. <laughs> Looks like fate decided for me. This one can't end like the others. They won't publish it. I must write something different, something darker. It's the only chance I have of saving her. I'm sorry, Jenny. You'll see your mum soon, but for now, it's got to be the graveyard. Well, we'll see what ends up happening then. Was the man in black the Dean's real killer? Without any evidence, Jenny couldn't be sure. A great detective never made assumptions. The most important thing was getting her mum to safety. And to do that, she'd need to beat the man in black at his own game. And how are we going to do that? Vince had taken a dramatic turn. Jay-Z's head buzzed with questions. Will Susie's exposed to work? Why would someone want to kill my mom? Who is the man in black? Can I find the jail before it's too late? Her head was fraught with danger, and Jenny would need all of her wits to survive. One thing's for sure. I'm gonna need to be very quiet. <laughs> what the hell? Hi, Jenny! Oh, no, Susie. 
the. Hi, Jenny. I'm here. And I brought snacks. This is a covert mission. Could you draw any more attention to yourself? <laughs> the honk was the best part. Sorry. I just wanted to get here as quickly as I could. Did you bring the explosives? Of course. Et voila. Now remember, explosives are incredibly dangerous. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Hopefully it'll be enough. Okay, I'm here. But what's the big emergency, Susie? Huh? What are you doing here? What is she doing here? Oh. Susie told him to come here so they could make up, huh? Keith, you came! You invited him? I thought it'd be a good opportunity for you to talk. Now is hardly the time! I can't bear the idea of two best friends never speaking again. It's too sad. What's wrong with you? I should go. No, Keith, wait. There was so much she wanted to say. But she had ruined the Dean's funeral, embarrassed Keith in front of the whole town. Worse, she hadn't been there for him in his hour of need. She wanted to tell him all about the Dean's ring, the man in black, and the mysterious room buried in the forest. But none of it would bring his father back. Sometimes the right thing to say was also the hardest. I... I... I'm... sorry. Poor Keith. Angry, grieving, conflicted. His whole world turned upside down. And the one person he most wanted to confide in, he couldn't. I really should go. Goodbye, Jenny. No. Well, that didn't go exactly as I planned. Are you okay, Jenny? Unfortunate. What the hell were you thinking? I just wanted to help. Well, you made it worse. Friends need each other. I was just trying to be a good friend. Less harsh. If you want to be a good friend, stay out of my business. Now let's get back to work. Uh... Oh boy. This is gonna be a mess, isn't it? In. Or we could just wait for an adult. What? And let the man in black get to my mom first. Are you trying to sabotage everything? I just don't see why we can't tell the police what we know and let them sort it out. I mean, that's the thing, though. The police want to convict her mother. They won't help. Because, Susan, the police are incompetent. I'm not putting my mom's life in their hands. Besides, for all we know, it could be an inside job. Now, keep a lookout while I open this lock. Where are those sweet spots? Gotcha. In we go. Are you coming, Susie? Into the graveyard? There's no time to waste. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm just, um, I think I need a minute. 
let her off the hook. Why don't you wait here and keep a lookout? I'll go on ahead. I've got the radio if I need your help. That sounds like a great plan. Thanks. Radio me if you see anything suspicious. Especially if you see a man in black carrying a briefcase and a blue umbrella. Briefcase, umbrella, got it. Lock the gate behind me so no one suspects anything. And keep out of sight. Here, don't forget the explosives. Jenny had broken in undetected. Now she had to find the secret passage that led to the jail. I just need to follow the clues from the photograph. I'm coming for you, Mom. Well, I can't go back that way. Hmm. All right, then. Spooky. Hmm. So where is the fallen the angel? The graveyard cast her stony gaze over the burial ground, watching over the departed, protecting their peaceful slumber. Why must everything in a graveyard be so well, creepy? Of course, this guardian had wings. Beyond the fallen angel, there are lots of angels here. Which one is the fallen angel? More than likely, it's like fallen over like you know literally the Strasbury mausoleum amongst the fresh flowers was a note beloved father educator and botanist your memory will forever blossom in our hearts don't worry mr Strasbury I won't rest until I found your real killer Here lie the earliest settlers of Arthurton. Hmm. They kick-started our great town's growth and prosperity. The note had read, look for the biggest cross. But none of these graves have crosses. No matter. Perhaps there were other secrets to find here. Perhaps. Perhaps. Matt Neto King Katina's weird. Vacancy red to own. God. Rocco, one great dog. Disco, buried far below the ground where all the deepest grooves are found. <laughs> uh. Hello. Here lies Ada. Please say hello. Why it camp? The plan never went according to itself. God. Something's pushing against the stone. It looks like it could collapse at any minute. Hmm. Well, this looks like... Four discs of solid granite with something carved into the face. It's all scrambled up. I'll just straighten them out. But try as she might, the discs wouldn't move. Hmm. Wonder why. Maybe I have to do it in a certain order? Maybe. Oh, hi, Dad. 
Hey, Dad. I can't stay long. Mom's in trouble. And, well... Jenny tried to be brave, but the past few days had taken their toll on our hero, and finally it all poured out. Everything's falling apart. I wanted a real mystery to solve, but... I didn't think it would be like this. Dean Strausbury's dead. Everyone in town thinks Mom killed him, and, and Keith won't talk to me. I don't know who to trust. And now someone is trying to kill Mom, too. I have to save her, but I'm not sure I can. Why did you have to go and die on us? It was a really crappy move. I wish you were here. Oof. That sword looks like it might move. Hmm. Oh. Maybe it needs to be pointed down towards the door? Maybe. Yeah, it probably needs to be pointed down towards the door. That way it's able to move or whatever. Five stone swords adorned the strange entryway. Jenny tried to move one. Wow, they're all stuck tight. I can't move any of them by hand. Hmm. Maybe I have to go towards each statue I found and do it from there. Hmm. Might just need to be able to, might just have to look around. find some more over here or something. Yeah, I definitely have to like, get these to pointing towards the door or something. It makes the most sense. Aha! get up there probably by doing the puzzle thingy See if we can do this now. Hmm. 
wonder. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, 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 Got it. Someday she just feels super smart. Jenny studied the stone discs, now perfectly aligned. It's the face of a badger. That's unusual. What a mechanism? Something tells me this isn't a tomb. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, it's definitely not a tomb. Another one of those freaking machines. If the huge coiling wires haven't made it clear, the hulking metallic shell certainly did. This isn't a tunnel. It's the entrance to another laboratory, just like the one in the forest. How many yep. of these are there? The presence of such unusual and foreign objects in Arthurton begged even bigger questions. Who put them here? And for what purpose? It seemed to Jenny as if the graveyard itself had been built around the sphere. A perfect hiding place. If something this conspicuous could be so easily concealed. What else is Arthurton hiding? Who knows? Who freaking knows? We know it's working. As a dozen intricate machines word to life, Jenny noticed a remarkable resemblance she had overlooked before. Some of this equipment looks like the stuff in Susie's lab. Yeah, well, I noticed that. I noticed that the first time. I can't believe I missed it before. That girl owes me some answers. Another radio. Maybe these are used to communicate between laboratories. It was a hunch, but if it were true... Whoever's transmitting the message could be in another sphere somewhere in town. Perhaps. Getting there. Okay. Aha. It's the same voice as before. This code was different from the last. Yeah. Just as strange though. Jenny carefully transcribed the words into her journal. Let's see what the hawk and the weasel have to say about this. What do you got?
Okay, so we have bear 39. Purge. Wolf 24. Sheep forty. Purge infected soon. Boy in the whale, rabbits in the bear. Purge infected soon, only death. Forever. Fifty six. Purge infected soon, only death forever silenced. Despair. Herself. Is. Near. Purge infected. Soon only death. Forever silenced. Despair herself is near. This message, as sinister as the last, Junko? sent Jenny's analytical <laughs> mind into overdrive. Is the man in black sending these messages? Purge infected, forever silenced. Could that have something to do with Dean Strasbury? It can't be a coincidence that I found a copy of the same book by the Dean's corpse. But how are they connected? Soon only death, despair herself is near. And now they're coming for my mom. What does she know that they're willing to kill her for? This contraption was new to Jenny, but something about it caught her eye. Hmm. Oh, hello. A large metallic slab with a distinctive indentation carved into its surface. The Dean's Ring. That shape. Where have I seen it before? The Dean's Ring. Put it on, put it on, put it on. It fits. In fact, it fit perfectly into the slot, as though it were made for it. Doesn't seem to be working. Probably just a loose connection somewhere. Perhaps. Gallery art. Is there any more? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, I see. It's this again. 
Jenny knew that the best way to fix anything electronic was... ...to mess around with it until all the lights come on. But this was also on the freaking boat. Aha! Uh -huh. A great detective didn't work out. Jenny had a promising career in machine repair to fall back on. What's he gonna do? That doesn't, doesn't seem good. Right. The machine's true application would remain a mystery for now. But whatever its purpose, the implications were overwhelming. Dean Strasbury is somehow connected to this place. Had the Dean been aware of the secret hiding within his ring? Whether he knew or not, it's likely he was killed because of it. Well, he was also a part of a family of Deans, so I wouldn't doubt it if something was related to that. So, you know. Please enter authorization code to begin. One, two, three, four. Incorrect code. They actually changed the code! <laughs> of course it is. That would have been too easy. Please enter authorization. One, two, three. The incorrect code. Of course it is. That would have been too easy. And what is the code? Hidden amongst a web of cables, the average eye would have missed it. But Jenny LeClue was a great detective. There's a book pinned beneath that cable. Confidential. Confidential. The word was music to Jenny's ears. Oh, 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 oh. Remedy. Oh, my God. Give me a moment. Bork and Borkenheimer. All right, what do we have any more? No. 
No, we don't. All right, let's see. What do we got? Zazer. Jenny recognized the name, but couldn't put her finger on where she'd heard it before. So this lab is his invention. He called it a Zazer Sphere. Well, at least I've got a name. Zazer Sphere. These machines were built to study and harness the power of Arthurton's greatest resource. They were experimenting on the town itself. Makes sense. The Council of Three. Never heard of them. Sounds like he didn't know who they were either. But they paid for all of this? Hmm. He designed a bigger sphere. Bigger than this? Did he ever build it? And if he did, where? Hmm. There was a badger on the door to get into this lab. So this must be the experiment he was talking about. Props. Exhaustion, rushed schedule, dangerous conditions. The parallels with her father's own working conditions were distressingly clear. Hmm. All dead. All my fault. The words echoed across the metal walls. Ghosts of a past tragedy. What did he do? It must have been terrible. This entry is from much later. There are lots of pages missing. It seems that whatever happened before, he carried on his work long after. As is the case more than in likely. all tangled mysteries, every new piece of evidence raised more questions than it answered. But she now knew the purpose of this Caesar sphere and the name of the people who had built it. The Council of Three. It wasn't much to go on, but it was a start. Can I not get out of here? Is it is Oh, no, there's something. Another blank scrap of paper. Hmm. That's what it was. Aha! One zero two eight. Please enter authorization code to begin. One zero two eight. Code accepted. System authorized and armed for activation. Transducer coils charging accumulating voltaic cells commencing experiment 12 91. Here we go again. Spooky. Oh. Radioactive safety margins cleared. Procedure 12 completed successfully. Decompressing spherical chamber. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break. Cool. I wonder what it did. At least I wasn't covered in plasma. 
I mean, it helped us get a way out. So, there's that. Let's get out of here then. Jenny, did you find the entrance? Not yet. Jenny was hesitant to share her discovery, but Susie might have vital information. Have you ever heard the name Zazer before? Professor Caesar, yes. He was a famous scientist. Mm. There's even a statue of him in Avocado Park. That's where I've seen his name before. He worked for my family's company, but that was a long time ago. He led the research and development team. At least, he did, until... Until what? It's quite sad, actually. He went mad from mercury poisoning. He had to be institutionalized. They said he was a danger to himself and others. Why do you want to know about him? Trust her. I found something that belonged to him. Oh, wow! In the graveyard? Is it one of his crazy inventions? Something like that. I, I have to go. Keep out of sight and let me know if you see anyone. I will. Good luck, Jenny. I think out of all people, Susie's probably the most trustworthy of the bunch. Compared to her freaking rest of her family, at least. Because she seems to not trust them either. So, you know. Better to trust your cousin than the weird freaking mother. Looks like a planetarium over there. Who knows? Maybe she is. Maybe she's not. I don't know. The fallen angel. This is it. The entrance must be through here. Who knows? Another coded message in another hidden laboratory. A secret tunnel under the graveyard. How long had these things been in Arthurton? Who was responsible for them? And how was all this connected to the Dean's murder? Through the crumbling arches. Spooky. The gates. This must be it. Now all I have to do is find the biggest cross. <laughs> That's a lot of crosses. Oh, come on. There's a million crosses in there. Jenny, where are you? It's getting really creepy out here. I'm in the old part of the graveyard. Oh, no. Every kid in Arthurton knew the graveyard was haunted. The ghosts of early settlers walked among the tombstones late at night, waiting to avenge their tragic deaths in the mine. A few months ago, Peggy and Veronica went up there after curfew with some boys, and they were attacked by a ghost. They were probably hallucinating from all the hairspray. <laughs> they swore to me, Jenny. They wouldn't lie. I don't believe in ghosts. And the tall tales of a bunch of airheads won't change my mind. Even so, Jenny's skin crawled with goosebumps. It might have been her imagination, but the night suddenly seemed a lot darker. Maybe I'll uh, use Mom's flashlight. You know, ju just in case. They could certainly get away with making a freaking horror game out of this. Just the atmosphere is really good. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, the vibes. Well, that's great. Not now. Not now. It's dead. Unable to see more than a few inches ahead. Our trembling adventurer had no choice but to edge forward very slowly. Oh, great. <laughs> this is going to be prime for a jump scare, huh? Oh, great. There's a light over here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's a grave digger, isn't it? <laughs> Wait. You're not a ghost. <laughs> oh, you scared the life out of me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize anyone else was here. Uh, that's okay. This place is terrifying in the dark. I really need to stop working <laughs> nights. What are you doing out here after uh... curfew? Hmm. I don't know if I can trust this guy. Master of Disguise. I'm a city-appointed grave inspector, and I'm here to inspect this grave. Is it Tuesday already? Goodness me, where are my manners? Hop right in and have a look around. Um, no, that's okay. I can, uh, see it fine from here. You're the LeClue girl, aren't you? Uh, well... Your poor old man. What a horrible way to die. Yeah, I don't really like to talk about it. Blown into a thousand pieces. What a way to go. No chance to say goodbye. Uh, yikes. Boom, gone. Just like that. An absolute tragedy. Maybe you shouldn't be talking about that in front of the, l the child. And the pain. Can you imagine? Nothing left of him. Hardly seemed worth digging the hole. Well, you're digging a big hole right now. Yes, ma'am. Regulation size, six feet, not an inch less. The name's Matt. The second T is silent. Shh. Okay, Matt. I'm gonna need to ask you some questions for my report. Just the usual red tape. You understand. Oh, sure. Fire away. He seems harmless enough. I just need to be sure he's not working for the man in black. Oh, well, let's see if he is. Huh? Well, first of all, is he hiding anything? Is he hiding a specific item, perhaps? A gallery item? Yes. Well, there is something over here. What's with the daisy? Why do you have a flower in your pocket? I always keep one in there in case of emergency. People like to leave them by the graves as a tribute. Ah, I see. You should take it for your dad. Thank you. your clothes and your shuffle oh that <laughs> that's good old arthurtonian red clay impossible to wash out one of the hazards of the job oh boy why are you digging a grave in the middle of the night well they have to go somewhere the bones the what it's the problem with building a graveyard on top of an old mine grounds always shifting 
Before you know it, bones are sticking out all over the place. We have to rebury them. It's bad for business. That's terrible. Could be worse. Could be dead, like all of these poor souls. Ms. Smith over there, bitten by a badger. Wouldn't want to go that way. Right there is Mr. McCarthy. Set himself on fire baking biscuits. <laughs> and there's your dad, of course. Your poor dead dad. Dead. Are you finished? Oh, sorry. There I go again, talking about the dead. He knows everything about this place. Probably because he's the caretaker. Owen? You told me your name was Matt. It is, isn't it? Well then, who is Owen? And why are you wearing his shirt? Ah, oh, darn it, it's fallen off again. Owen was the old groundskeeper. He died digging a grave. So you got hand-me-downs. Turned out to be his own. Budget cuts. You're wearing a dead man's shirt. Eh, seemed a shame to waste it. He didn't need it anymore. Have you seen anyone suspicious lurking around tonight? Oh, well, there was this one girl. A girl? She scared the life out of me, really made me jump. <laughs> oh wait, no, that was you, wasn't it? You'll have to forgive me, my memory isn't what it used to be. Hmm. Oh, there's something here. stuck to your boot oh don't know could have come from anywhere beyond the fallen angel um what now under the crumbling arches uh you lost me the entrance is buried there does that mean anything to you oh is this a poem i love poems <laughs> do you want to hear one of mine no i'm good thanks Sure are a lot of people buried here. Well, if they keep dying, we'll keep burying them. Do you know which of these graves has the biggest cross on it? Now there's one I've never heard before. Biggest cross. No, can't say I do. They've all got about the same size cross, I'd say. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you have any idea how I could find it? You know, you might want to look at that statue up there. It has a list of all the famous miners buried here. It might help you find what you're looking for. Famous miners. Interesting. I think Perhaps. it's safe to say he doesn't know anything about the man in black. Well, thanks, Matt. That's the end of the, uh, inspection. How did I do? Did I pass? With flying colors. Oh, and if anyone asks, you didn't see me, okay? See who? Exactly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a statue to investigate. Oh, no, you can't go up there now. It's far too dangerous. I'll be fine, thanks. Absolutely not. If you slipped and fell, I couldn't have that on my conscience. Come back tomorrow during the day. I'll give you a guided tour. Damn, I'll have to find another way to get up there. Oh, the flashlight works again. Yay. I just walk past him. He'll see me. to find another way around. But where? Much like those buried in the graveyard, this tree had died a long time ago. Be careful, Mr. Crow. It looks like it could fall over at any moment. Hmm. In 
interesting. Yeah. Get up all on there. can get up there now. Oh, oops. You can help me find the biggest cross. That's a one. Jenny had heard the tragic tale of a catastrophic cave in that closed the mines under Arthurton. Everyone blamed the miners for ignoring safety procedures. Most were crushed instantly by the falling rocks. Others had not been so fortunate. Trapped with no water, no food, no light, they were condemned to a slow and painful death. Yeah, that's painful. That's not great. Cross, carvers of tunnel rock, unmatched in strength and size. Jenny read the words to herself again. Strength and size? Look for the biggest cross. They didn't mean a cross on a grave. They meant the cross. They meant a cross in a grave. Right. The cross family must be buried in the graveyard below. I've got to work out who was the biggest. Find the grave, find the secret passage to the jail, save mom. Boy, I really hope I don't have to dig them up and measure them. The biggest cross. What you got? What you got? What you got? Noise. You telling me I can't go over there? Nah. Oh, gotta go down here. Fine.
Lena Cross. I was taller than friends. Hmm. What an odd epitaph. I ain't. I eat then. Let's see. Yeah, I should probably not go down this far. Because there's probably something more on the left. Cross. What have you got to say for yourself? I was taller than Helga. Seems the Cross family had quite the rivalry. Seems so. buried here the search continues well, I gotta keep looking here's one Helga cross I was taller than Karina I see a Cooper, Chapman, and Cole, but no cross. Jumpity jump jump. I really hope my next adventure relies less on the structural integrity of old plant roots. That'd be nice, yeah. <sighs> I'm going cross eyed looking for crosses, but there aren't any here. How tall were you? How tall were you, boy? Casper is a little liar. Ivan wasn't pulling any punches. There can't be many more crosses to find. Where haven't I looked yet? Hmm. That's not going to go anywhere. So I guess I got to go back up.
What do you got there? Gallery. Good jump. Bingo. Hello, Franz Cross. I was taller than Ivan. Hmm. Does that make Franz the tallest one then? After an exhaustive search of the graveyard, Jenny had found all of the graves marked cross. Now I just need to work out who was the tallest. Who was the tallest cross? Nope, that's not what I meant. Let me try that again. Hmm. Let's see. Taller than Helga. Taller than Karina. Taller than Franz. Hmm. Helga. Because if she's taller than Franz. Casper? No. According to Casper, he was the tallest. But Ivan said he was lying. So would that make. Well, no, if cast... Okay, so... Yeah, that would... You have to, like, throw him out entirely. And if that's the case, then Helga will be the tallest, wouldn't she? If Casper was lying, then Helga must be the tallest. Which means... Helga's grave is hiding the secret passageway to the jail! Scrappy Boo. Okay, I think this is where I was, more or less. Yeah, let's just go back. It's, there's no point. Just go back the way we came from down here. Jenny saw nothing particularly unique about this grave. Like all the others, the slab was weathered, chipped, and covered in moss. There's another epitaph carved into the base. Here lies she, seven foot three, stung by a bee. Hmm. Mining. A small stone pot sat in front of the headstone. A fine layer of soil lined the inside. It's a vase for a flower. A wonderful revelation struck Jenny as the final piece of the puzzle fell into place. Ha ha ha! 
I had to take the flower with me. Don't forget to pay your respects. I need to place a flower here. Jenny pulled the grave digger's daisy from her pocket. I knew this would come in handy. Oh. <laughs> Spooky. Due to seismic activity, entrance four has been temporarily relocated. Thank you for your patience while we upgrade our infrastructure. And please watch your step when crossing. It says the entrance was relocated, but it doesn't say where. Probably that way. I don't know. Well, that looks safe. Why does everything have to be so convoluted? Mom will have died of old age by the time I reach her. Well, let's get going then, huh? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Not scary at all, huh? I should call you. Well, something strange just happened. So he was working with the man in the black coat. Probably. This is the only tomb here. And with no epitaph. This has to be it. Robs. Oh, there's a thingy. Hey, yo. This is clearly Zazer technology. Is it part of another Zazer sphere? Maybe. When did doors go out of fashion? If this is the entrance, then there must be some way to open it. Hmm.
clearly I have to move some stuff around. Wait, there's something over here. Oh, there is a gallery thing. Hello. Uh, hmm. I think this is supposed to go down here. Yep, that worked. Uh... Yeah, I think I get how it's supposed to work. over. Put this over here. Boom. That one looks like it needs to go up there. bring everything over here then for now out of the way and then we got it Jenny peered into the ominous void, a jagged path carved into the earth, plunging deep beneath the rotting soil. How far down did it go? There was only one way to find out. I'm not sure I want to. Gathering her courage, she stepped forward into the distended bowels of Arthurton. <clears throat> I said she stepped forward into the distended bowels of Arthurton. <laughs> before I walk down a pitch black staircase into the terrifying abyss. Sorry, Jenny. Jenny stared into the darkness. She could almost hear her mother's voice calling. A great detective perseveres, no matter the obstacle. And so, she took a deep breath, pushed up the thick frame of her glasses, and crossed the threshold. Go, baby, go! Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, it's getting... We're getting farther back. Oh, boy. This is prime for spookage. And now we're zooming back in. Well, that's a spooky looking door, huh? Another door. Locked, I presume. Whoever built all this certainly wants to keep it a secret. Unlock it, baby. Spooky. Jenny was ahead of the man in black for now. There was still the matter of breaking her mum out of jail and escaping without being caught. Being careful not to make a sound, Jenny stepped cautiously into the dark space below. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! <laughs> what an out of place machine! Thought you could hide from me? What? This isn't a tunnel. It's like a creepier version of Dr. Benderson's office. Less natural light, same terrible music. Wild. A giant metal door stood conspicuously in the middle of the room. It must lead to the jail. A perfectly reasonable assumption. There was just one problem. Wait a minute. Isn't that... Isn't that a Nordic rune? How do I open it? Hmm. Jenny knocked on the door. Based on the resonance, and the fact that my hand hurts like hell, I'd say this door is solid steel. And at least four inches thick. No handle and no keyhole. Whoever built this door wanted to keep people out or in, depending on which side you're on. Robs. Blast proof. So the explosives are useless. Yay. Another animal. This one's a fox. Could this have something to do with Professor Zazer's experiments or the Council of Three? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just looking for gallery items currently. Just in case. Doesn't look like I'm gonna find any more, so I'm just gonna boot in. I don't know how to pick this. It's some kind of slot. 
Is something missing? Key card, maybe? Jenny came to a distressing yet inevitable conclusion. I can't open it. I'm stuck. Of course it's a giant metal door that's impossible to open. Why wouldn't there be? It would be easy to feel defeated, but this was Jenny the Clue, a great detective. And as her mother always said, A great detective sees every locked door as an opportunity. Yes, an opportunity for an elaborate puzzle and lateral thinking. <laughs> Someone works here. Or at least they did. Judging by the dead plant and dusty typewriter, no one's been here for a while. To a detective, rummaging through a trash can was like opening a treasure chest. Just with more gum and cigarette butts. Gross. My initial assessment? Looks like a lot of trash. <laughs> Rotten sandwich, napkins, belly button lint. Wait a second. What's There's that? A note here that's been torn up. Could be a clue. Maybe. Corner time. Corner time. Maybe. This right here. Too easy. They should have used a shredder. Probably. But they probably didn't have one down here, so... I know a secret code when I see one. This could be useful. John! It was always a good idea to put your hands between the crusty crevices of a sofa cushion. All kinds of exotic things could be found. What's this? Hello. Ayo, another postcard. Let's switch to another one for now. There's also one more postcard. That means we're like a third, like three fourths through the game, then, huh? Detectiving was hungry work, and Jenny couldn't remember the last time she'd eaten anything. What I really want is a hot coffee. So she perused the selection on offer. Kiss of death. Oh, well, ain't that right. Oh, yeah, wasn't there, uh... There's also a door here. It's an old dirty mop. Uh, what was the frickin' button? 
J. Okay, so it's that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I gotcha. Jenny needed to decide what delicious treat she was going to buy first. Jenny needed to decide what delicious treat she was going to buy first. I'm looking. Jenderson's brand. Open the door to yum. I want big crunch. Big crunch. Fight hunger with a punch. I've had one of these before. Tastes like cardboard. Rip. The key. Open the door to yum. These candy names are getting ridiculous. Bunch o nuts. Gross. I hate peanut butter. There's got to be something better than this. <laughs> Kiss of death. Well, at least they're honest. <laughs> what kind of vending machine doesn't serve coffee? Jenny found it hard to focus without her usual evening brew. Perhaps a nice bar of chocolate would help. This is a waste of time. How's a chocolate bar going to help me open that door? And that's when it hit her. The key. Open the door to yum? Surely a humorous but irrelevant tagline. It's the perfect shape to fit in the slot on the door. A mere coincidence. It's literally a key to the door. It'd be a rather strange place to hide a key. Stranger than a waiting room beneath a graveyard? That's my ticket out of here. B31. Got it. I mean... I don't have any change. I mean, I already know what it is, so... I don't have any change. Hmm. It's an old dirty mop. I eat then. Maybe I can find money in here. No, it's just a freaking sticker. Of course it is. Where am I going to find some change? Is weird. Typical. Stupid machine. Give me the key. It's no good. It's stuck. How can I get the key out? Hmm. It's leaning forward against the glass. That's why it's stuck. The machine has one short leg, making it lean forward and to the right. Then you gotta tilt it. If I tilt the machine to the left, I should be able to get the key out. 
but Jenny wasn't strong enough to lift a vending machine by herself. I'm going to need some leverage. Leverage, huh? Of course. I can use the mop to tilt the machine. A little bit of legwork and I'll have that key out in no time. Just a little bit more. Yay, baby! Uh oh. Yikes. Oh crap. Thought the solution was gonna be buying the thing over the key. It's just chocolate. I don't know. It, of course. It was kind of weird how things. the solution was gonna be that. But I thought Why would anyone hide the key to a giant metal door inside a candy bar? Well, you might as well eat it. Actually, now that I think about it, it does sound pretty ridiculous. But necessity was the mother of invention. Jenny may have failed to open the mysterious door, but thanks to her ingenuity, she had created her own way through. Yay! She peered inside the hole. It was just wide enough for her to squeeze through. Well, look what we have here. Jenny shone her flashlight on a damaged section of the brick wall. I can see through to the other side. The path ahead was dark and foreboding, but Jenny was too excited to be afraid. And so, without hesitation, she crawled into the rocky passageway. Oh, <laughs> okay. We're just going. You're not going to let me do anything. Looks like it's opening up a bit. Just another friendly message. Warning of my impending doom. Glatz Mining Core. R oh, with Glatz. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. Sorry. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. The walkie-talkies are for emergencies only, not chit-chat. I'm about to enter one of the abandoned mines. I can't have you distracting me. An abandoned mine? Be careful, Jenny. Those tunnels are dangerous. This is the case of a lifetime? Of course it's dangerous. But you'll get lost. Those tunnels run underneath the entire town. Exactly. One of them must lead to the jail. You're right. I bet I can find it on my map. What are you talking about? What map? In my granddad's journal. He was a great cartographer and mapped out all of the tunnels. I mean, it also says Glatz Mining Core, so, uh... It makes sense. And you've had this with you the whole time? I always keep it with me. It makes me feel close to him. Convenient. Why didn't you tell me this before? I didn't know you were going to end up in the mines. Fine. I'm in Tunnel 12. See if you can find it on the map. Okay. I'm on it, Jenny. The barricade was old and rotten. Shouldn't be hard to remove, if I find a weak spot. Ooh, sticker. Uh, is there anything more? Well, first of all, this looks like a weak spot. Great. 
Oh, great. Ooh, that incline. Ooh. Oh no! The ghost of the miners. Who goes there? They're gone. Jenny looked like she'd seen a ghost. It's just my imagination. It's just my imagination. A great detective deals in fact, not fiction. It was hard for even Jenny's logical mind to deny what was standing right in front of her. It's just my imagination. It's just my imagination. Oh no, they're kind of there. How am I going to move this? It's huge. Oh. <laughs> the ghost helped you. It's spooky how oh, easy that no. was. Oh, hang on. I'm going to need to freaking plug this in. Uh, where are you? Give me one moment. I need to freaking plug this in. Charging battery. All right. Should be fine now. Is there a hidden secret up here? No, I can't do anything about that. It's just the boulder. I assume I'm gonna have to go up there. Hmm. Hay in Greece. Hmm. Largest crystals I've ever seen. They must be worth a fortune. Why would the Glass Corporation just abandon all this? I don't know. It is weird. I'd assume it was the danger. I don't know. Is there anything back here? Yes, there is. Maybe. Who knows? Could have been. Could have totally been. The spooks. Too spooky to dig. <laughs> this guy looks like he's having a good time. Just having a good time pushing the carts. Come 
climb. Hmm. Jumpity. Got another one of those. It's probably the left here. Yep. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> another transmitter. Does that mean there's another Zazer Sphere around here somewhere? Hmm, probably. I don't know specifically where, but probably somewhere. It would explain why there was another one up outside the secret area. Jenkins history class that's where all those miners died it was a huge cave-in hundreds of men were crushed to death even more died from lack of oxygen not helpful and now their ghosts roam the tunnels eternally searching for escape don't be ridiculous <laughs> I found tunnel 12 on the map this isn't going to be easy just tell me where I need to go well you need to find crystal cavern it'll be huge and full of quartz crystals. Directly above it are the sewers. And the sewers run underneath the jail. But Jenny, what if you're crushed by a rock? Or murdered by a ghost? You can contract miner's lung. That's a horrible, painful way to die. Thanks for the pep talk, Susie. I'm giving you a little push, buddy. That's not good. Hmm. Maybe I have to push you somewhere else. Hmm. No, I didn't want to climb. No, I can't push him that way. Hmm. Yeah, I can't... I obviously can't go that way. So, probably have to go back to where the crystals were. Maybe. Then again, there was a sign up there that was like pointing up. I don't know. This can't be Crystal Cavern. It's a dead end. It, well, it zoomed back. So maybe I have to go down somehow? But how? Hmm. Let's see. Obviously not here. Then it probably has something to do with upstairs or something. I don't know. More than likely. I 
I don't know where else I go. I'm just gonna assume I need to frickin' push this over here and then jump or something. Aha! Another barricade. Actually, before I finish this off, I need to look for stiff. That looks like that was it. So let's just keep going. Yeah, this definitely looks like a crystal cavern to me. Another Zazer sphere. There's an the sphere that we were looking for. Mines belonging to the Glatz Corporation, no less. Susie said Zazer worked for Glatz Corp. But in his journal, Zazer said the Council of Three built these spheres. There's no way they could have built this without the Glatz's approval. More than likely, yeah. Got another one. Guess let's start looking around. Let's get the radio thing done well, first. Hello, old friend. What secret message might you be hiding? Getting there, getting there, getting there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. go. 
Another code. Another piece of the message. Yee, BB. All right. Is there a hidden gallery thingy here? No. Okay, so first of all, Goose. Goose 63. And this. Maze. Run. Home. Magical. Cake. End this maze. Run home. Magical cake? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. How does magical cake fit in? She read the whole message out loud again. Soon they will all listen. Relive their rancid past. Purge infected. Soon only death. Forever silenced. Despair herself is near. End this maze. Run home. Magical cake. <laughs> Magical she tried cake. It in a different order, but it didn't make a difference. Until this moment, Jenny had assumed the transmissions formed a single coherent message. Now I'm starting to wonder if this is a message at all. Yet the question still remained. Who is sending these? And why? Who knows? Alright, before I... Yes. Oh, looks like we got another one of those. So, I guess we gotta do the thing again. Let's try this again. Hopefully it doesn't break this time. Hopefully. <laughs> They changed the puzzle again. What are they? Okay, fine, whatever. Whatever. Oh, I don't even have to do the thing again. Printing access card, please stand by. Laser in. That it. was about the same size and shape as a bar of chocolate. Mm. Of course. It has the same logo as the giant metal door. This must open it. Well, we got something to use then.
Please enter authorization code to begin. Hmm. And where would the code for this be? It's gotta be. Oh, there's something. There is something there. Another blank piece of paper. Let's see if we can jog your memory. Zero seven one nine. Zero seven one nine. You <laughs> made it your birthday? <laughs> Thank goodness this guy wrote down all the codes. Otherwise, I'd be trapped here forever. Now we gotta put it in. Please enter authorization code to begin. 0719. Code accepted. System authorized and on for activation. She'd started. I think we started an earthquake. But she'd have to stop it before the whole laboratory came crashing down. Experiment 15 aborted. Operation unsuccessful. Data set incomplete. What just happened? I thought it was going to die. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please take your mandatory 15-minute smoking break. Decompressing spherical chamber. Yeah, putting that in the cave of all places? Probably not great. Communication. Oh, so that's how the message is going to be? Huh. This is the missing page from the code book. The text gave instructions and rules for communicating using a special code. That's why the radio broadcast didn't make sense. It was designed to look like a sinister message. But the real message is hidden inside. Aha. So what's the real message? Only certain letters from each word are used in the underlying message. And so, Jenny began by finding them. Hmm. Use first two letters. Mm, gotcha. Hmm. 
And then use the last two letters. Use the last three letters. I done all of them. Oh yeah, I didn't finish that. Right. Now all that's left to do is assemble the pieces. Still alive? Trap. Trapped on other side bin find Caesar. HLC Still alive trapped on other side find Caesar H L C H L C To most people these letters would be meaningless but to Jenny they were as familiar as her own birthday Dad I had a feeling I had a feeling that was the case A fantasy how could Henry Leclue have sent this message? Henry Leclue was... Still alive! The mere possibility caused Jenny's heart to pound in her chest. They never found his body. We buried an empty coffin. Which probably means this entire message was...